guys welcome to water baby tarot this is a crystal monthly healing video for january 2020 this is going to be for cancer pisces and scorpio so for those who are new to my channel or new to these crystal videos that i do i basically use the crystal wisdom healing oracle deck all the decks that i use by the way for the channel if you've seen any of my other videos and you want some of these decks for yourself they have links below for you to go ahead and access them to where i purchase them from most of the decks i get are from amazon you can also find a lot of cool decks on etsy as well okay so basically how this works is i pull from this deck to see what crystals you will need for the month of january and then we go ahead and pull some tarot cards to see why you need those crystals now these are very very general readings so because of that i always read the descriptions of each crystal right out of the book because I don't want you guys running out and getting crystals because I don't really need them, you know? By the way, if you do have this deck, you can actually use the cards in lieu of the crystals if you don't have the actual crystals, because some of them can be kind of expensive, <laughs> right? Like Azurite, Azurite can be really expensive. That's an example of one. But anyway, so that's how it works. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio? Who's going to call me first? Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio? Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Oh, Pisces. Okay. Pisces, you guys never call me first. Let's go ahead and do it. Now, like I said, guys, these are very, very general, okay? So just take it as it resonates. They're not going to be for everybody. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. What crystals do my Pisceans need for the month of January? Let's see what we got here. Oh, Citrine. Oh, very nice. Okay, Pisces. I was about to say, I feel like for the month of January, most people are going to be through, going through a transformative process, but I really feel like you guys are going to be having a lot of fun or trying to have a lot of fun. Excuse me. Had breakfast right before this. I think you guys are going to be very creative. Very, very creative. And Citrine is great for that. It's also great for attracting abundance into your life. Oh, that's too many. That's too many. What other crystals do my Piscines need for the month of January? Guys, I feel so good. I can't even tell you. Sorry, I'm just going to stop the video for a second. Uh, I feel so good. I feel so alive. I feel so awake. I feel like I'm back to my normal self. Uh, I did a little post yesterday. I couldn't do videos yesterday. I actually had to go to the um, urgent care. Then I had to go to the ER because urgent care couldn't help me. I promise I'm fine. Um, I was just having some side effects from some medication I needed for something I had to take care of. Um, and even then, like I left like still not feeling great. I'll be honest, guys. It's something I've been battling for like a month now. I've um, been trying to just push through. And it's just like it was getting the best of me. And uh, last night afterwards, I had a friend do Reiki on me. Oh, I feel I feel so good waking up this morning. I feel so good. I just had to share. I just had to share. I was really excited to get back to work, too, because you guys know me. I'm like a workhorse. So when I don't get to work, I like it messes with my mental state a little bit. Anyway, Pisces, back to you. Back to you. Oh, I was like, why do I feel the need to tell you all of this? I, Pisces, I feel like some of you might be coming out of that yourselves. I don't have any Pisces in my chart, actually, if you guys are wondering. So you guys just asked me that. Um, yeah, Pisces, some of you are coming out of that yourselves. You're starting to feel alive again. You're starting to feel that spark of creativity. I love it. I love it, Pisces. I feel like January is going to be a great month for you. And then, of course, not too long after that, we're going to be going into your season in February. Any other crystals for my Pisceans for the month of January? Any other crystals from my Pisceans for the month of January? I feel like a lot of guys are going to be doing some sacral clearing as well. And even some, um, getting some heart chakra stuff with you. Any other crystals from my Pisceans for the month of January? Any other crystals from my Pisceans for the month of January? Oh, okay. Purple rights. Ooh, and bloodstone. Yeah, interesting. So you guys got four cards that came out here. We have Citrine. That's a lot. It's a lot of it's a lot of Pisces. Purpurite, Bloodstone. I love Bloodstone. And then we have Brand up uh, Brandenburg Amethyst. Excuse me, Brandenburg Amethyst. So I'm. It's interesting that Bloodstone came out here, guys, because I was getting that sacral clearing. So you guys might have been having some issues um, regarding your reproductive system. So you guys might have been having some issues in that area or issues with circulation. Yeah, issues with circulation. Either way, like Pisces, I feel it. You're coming back online and you're starting to feel alive too during the month of January. Um, but mostly a lot of creativity, a lot of creativity. So let's go ahead and read these off and then we'll pull some tarot cards. Let's do Citrine first. Okay. Citrine, abundance, a stone of joy and abundance. Citrine helps you to interact creatively, creatively with the world. It promotes inner calm. 
You spend too much time worrying about home, family, and finances. Remember, you're an abundant being who manifests what you need. You're an innocent, wise child who yearns to play. Joyful play creates a wonderful world. Be grateful for you are blessed. Accept constructive criticism. Become emotionally balanced, letting feelings flow naturally. Take time out for your joyful play. Self-regard heals a damaged child. Abundance is all around you. You attract success and prosperity. Stop worrying, be optimistic, and allow life to happen. Trust your intuition and perception. Consult the wise child within. Your thoughts on the bigger picture are correct. If there is family discord, harmony is restored through praise. True abundance comes from within. If you nurture your desires, you will bring joy to your wise child self. The frequency of the stone is high. It's great for cleansing and activating all the chakras. Great for Aries, Geminis, Leos, and Libras, and embodying abundance. Very nice, Pisces. All right, let's go ahead and do purple right. Ooh, oh my, the curse clear. Extremely effective for psychic and aura protection. Purpurite grounds high frequency energy, harmonizing the physical body to the new vibration. It helps you to break away from self-destructive or self-limiting behavior. Energizing the physical and mental bodies, it overcomes tiredness, apathy, and despondency. Old habits and patterns, including those inherited from ancestors, may keep you mired in the past. Subtle energetic excuse me, subtle energetics of ancient curses or ill wishing could be affecting you. These may be personal or passed down from the family line. You may be open to mental influence from others. Be open to the new ways to heal. Protect yourself appropriately, but do not be overly defensive. Check out whether you have inadvertently offended anyone. If so, make reparation where possible. If not, send unconditional love and forgiveness without needing to know why or where. The past creates the present, but the past can be repaired and the present healed. The frequency of the stone is earthly. It's great for the soul star and stellar gateway, as long as, as well as the root chakra. Um, it's also great for being a lineage breaker. Wow. Okay. So the sacral clearing I was picking up on, I do feel like also connects to this card, guys. Uh, some of you might have some past life trauma connected to sexual abuse. Some of you might even have gone through sexual abuse yourself. You know, a lot of um, this energy too, we've been talking about for quite a while now, from now until February, even possibly March, is gonna be about, about the death of ma the masculine energy, the transformation of masculine energy and the masculine collective, which affects all of us, right? Not just, you know, male energies. And there is a lot of sacral connections associated with that, okay? So Pisces, it seems like you're going to be experiencing clearing that as well, along with other people. Seems to be at the forefront for you. Bloodstone, perseverance. Bloodstone has always had a powerful connection with maintaining vitality, regulating menstruation, and staunching blood loss, as well as purifying the kidneys. You are a magical being. Uh, let's see. Oh, I don't know that word. <laughs> I don't know that word. Um, oh, how funny. Amalgam? An amalgam of your individuality, your family, and your environment. Let go of the past. Look closely at your ancestral line. Recognize toxic patterns subconsciously running your life. Break away and be strong. You may be unnecessarily aggressive or defensive. Acknowledge mistakes and let inner harm disharmonies be transmuted. Detoxification and chaos precede transmutation. Perseverance is needed. Locked doors open, obstacles are swept away, and romance blossoms. Preserve your good reputation. Recognize your enemies and keep them close, but do not be deceived. A farewell is called for. Mourn appropriately and let go. You are a spiritual warrior. Be assertive. Oh, hold on. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, boy. Ow. Nourish your blood and you revitalize your whole body. The frequency of the stone is earthy. It purifies and aligns the lower chakras. Great for Aries, Libras, and Pisceans. Pisces and freedom from the past again more of that clearing out honestly I feel like it's mostly sacral related and for some of you it's also around your heart chakra I feel acknowledgement they just told me acknowledgement hold on <coughs> mm. Mm. wait one second Pisces <clears throat> something around your heart chakra needs to be acknowledged Pisces <clears throat> Oh boy. <coughs> Do I feel some throat chakra stuff too, Pisces? <coughs> oh, Pisces. <coughs> okay. <coughs> We're good. We're good. The Brandenburg Amethyst, the perfect blueprint. 
A master healer, the Brandenburg Amethyst holds the perfect blueprint of your soul and all that is. It heals physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, karmic, planetary, and ancestral auric layers and imprints the most perfect energetic pattern possible. You are a being of pure consciousness and are wonderful just the way you are. Embrace the clarity of your core being. Let go of mental cons constructs, excuse me, karmic imprints, soul imperatives, and relationships that no longer serve. Heal the past. Reframe previous choices that you have made in your life and take a new pathway to step into your soul purpose and expand higher dimensions of your soul. <clears throat> You're perfect exactly as you are in this present moment. Step onto your soul path and seed your future with potential. Self-discipline and clear focus bring your dreams to fruition. Aim for the highest. You are perfect exactly the way you are. <laughs> wow, that one was said a lot, Pisces. Some of you might need to hear that or own that. Own that. The frequency of the stone is extremely high. It's great for all the chakras and great for seeing the perfection in each moment. Really enjoying life. Appreciating life in every moment that's come. Even the bad ones. Because the bad ones really teach us a lot and help us grow. So you might be struggling with accepting some of the bad shit you've had to endure, some of the bad shit that's happened. You need to accept that and recognize it for what it is and the purpose it served in your life in order to heal that and to let it go. Again, I'm, they, keep, they keep telling me sacral. They keep telling me sacral. A lot of this is rooted in your sacral chakra, Pisces. At least the Pisceans I'm tapped into. And like I said, something about your heart chakra needs to be acknowledged. But let's go ahead and pull some tarot cards and see why you need these. Uh, let's see, I'll pull them up one more time. Someone just asked me that. So I'll pull them up one more time. Citrine. Perperate. <clears throat> Bloodstone. So you guys, you guys just got so many. <laughs> and Brandenburg Amethyst. Citrine, Purpurite, Bloodstone, and Brandenburg Amethyst. Very pretty, actually. Very pretty. Okay, so let's pull some cards. Yeah, let's do Radiant Wise. <clears throat> what do my Pisceans need these stones for the month of January? Why do my Pisceans need these stones for the month of January? <clears throat> oh, Pisces. Ooh. They keep t telling me that word acknowledgement. <clears throat> they keep giving me that word acknowledgement for you. Some of you need to acknowledge your gifts. This is also coming through pretty strong. Some of you need to acknowledge your talents that you might have put on the shelf. Pisces, maybe you put them on the shelf because you had, you know shit you had to take care of you know maybe you really wanted to be an artist and instead you decided to do a nine to five job in office because it gave you the health insurance and it gave you that security but in doing so you basically shelved a talent that is really beneficial to your purpose and your path it's just an example but that's like the energy that i'm getting where it's like someone had a passion someone had some um a talent or a hobby or they did something that really brought brought happiness to their life and they shelved it because they had to in that moment or they had to for a while and they never went back to it but it's time to go back to it it's time to go back to it or at least to put some time back into it on the side just even as a hobby even if it just brings you a little bit of um happiness back into your life why do my Pisces do these crystals for the month of january <clears throat> why do my Pisceans need these crystals for the month of january Why do my Pisceans need these crystals for the month of January? Why do my Pisceans need these crystals for the month of January? <laughs> Pisces, I love you. So you guys are thinking about your taxes. <laughs> that just came in really strong. I was like, guys, focus. Focus, Pisces. Don't get, don't get distracted by the stressful things just yet taxes you guys are funny why do my Pisceans need these crystals for the month of January Let's see here oh yeah okay we've got the full Aries energy could also be Aquarius because the Uranus card you could be a cusper not necessarily eight of swords Gemini energy a lot of air going on in this in these two cards here uh Pisces oh, that's so weird I almost called you Aries uh some of you guys there might be definitely be cuspers anyway uh this is being trapped from taking on a, um, a leap of faith um being afraid to go on into something new or to change a course here 
Some of you, it's a change of course, but that's what this is. It's being too afraid to do it. Too afraid to do it. And I do feel a lot of you, this is relating to your creative arts or your creativity or that passion that you shelved. Some of you, it's relating just to that sacral clearing that I was picking up on too. That's so weird. Feeling trapped by masculine energy? Wait, what is this? Some of you are not aware um, how deeply rooted some of your trauma is relating to toxic masculine energies. Whether you experience trauma from these masculine energies or it's, it's your own masculine energy that's keeping you trapped because that's going through a transformation. And some of you are not aware of that. These crystals will help with that. Yeah, they keep bringing me back to the sacral. Sorry, guys. They keep bringing me back there. Um, the sacral is your creative center. It's also the sexy center. <laughs> if you want to call it that. If you want to call it that. Um, it's also the chakra that connects directly to the root that does help keep us grounded as well. It also connects to the solar that helps keep, keep us confident. Excuse me. Don't have all my words with me. Um, but feeling too afraid to do it. Too afraid to do it. Some of this is also definitely involving a career change. Into your true passion is what I just heard. Into your true passion, into your soul's purpose. You are meant to go into your soul's purpose at this time, Pisces, 1616, when I looked up at the camera. You're meant to go into your soul's purpose, and it requires faith, it requires a risk, but this is being too afraid to do it. Why else do my Pisceans need these crystals? For some of you, sorry, let me back here. For some of you, this trapped feeling, this fear is actually being fed by other people, other people or external energies. Could be your family, could be your friends, could be your coworkers. Some of you could be worried about what other people might think. I feel like it's more about what people say. I feel like it's more about what people are saying to you. Pisces, I get it. I just heard, I just heard someone say, I don't want egg on my face. I get it. I totally understand. I do. But at the same time, what's that? How's that phrase go? Um, fortune favors the bold. Fortune favors the bold. The biggest risks have the biggest payoffs. And going into your pa your soul's purpose, your path, the path you're meant to take, can be a little scary. It can. It can be a little scary because we don't always have all the answers. We don't always, ha always have all the pieces, but we just know it feels right. But don't let anything stop you. Don't let anything stop you. Why else do my Pisceans need these crystals? For the month of January... Why else do my Pisceans need these crystals for the month of January? Why else? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <coughs> oh, shit, Pisces. <coughs> Here's that healing. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Pisces. This is the acknowledgement of whatever's going on in your heart chakra and some of that sacral clearing I was, I was picking up on. Hmm. Shit. With the Knight of Wands in reverse, Sagittarian energy could also be Aries or Leo with the Three of Swords in reverse. This is healing. Honestly, this feels sexual. This feels really, really sexual to me. This card never is explicitly just sexual stuff to me. For some readers, it is. It never is for me, but it's like that's all I'm getting from this card. It's bad sexual experiences, sexual trauma, even. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm hearing violence too. Violence. Ooh, Pisces, where are we going? Also getting violence. I just feel like this is actually just toxic masculinity in a sexual context for a lot of you and healing that. Healing that, acknowledging that, and letting that go because it is something that's actually keeping you from, from going into the unknown, keeping you from going onto your soul's purpose, your path. Some of you are, are aware of this. Some of you are not. Some of you are not. Okay, but it's it's rooted in your sacral and in your heart chakra, but that really needs to be healed here. And I, I know that you want to be happy, Pisces. You And not to say you're not happy, but you want to be on your path. Everyone does. Everyone at, deep down in your core wants to. It's just the other shit that gets in the way, right? <clears throat> other people's opinions, uh, are the fears that come out of our ego from stuff that we've experienced in the past, that's what stops us from getting onto our path and onto our soul's purpose. But this is healing all of that stuff that's stopping you, but it does feel like it's rooted in toxic masculinity. Uh, <clears throat> Oh my goodness, Pisces, somebody really need to talk, need to like acknowledge this, like bad, badly need to acknowledge this. And for a lot of you, it's sexual context, okay? <clears throat> oh my God. Okay, let's move on from that. Let's move on from that. 
Why else am I Pisces and need these crystals for the month of January? Why else am I Pisces and need these crystals for the month of January? Why else am I Pisces and need these crystals for the month of January? Oh, that's it. Overall energy. Oh, look at that. Eight of Cups, Piscean energy. Underneath that, we do have the Ace of Wands in reverse. This is moving on from things that don't bring you that passion, that don't bring you that fire. The things that you're over, the things that don't make you happy. This is moving on from that. You want to move on from those things. These crystals will help you do that. <clears throat> these crystals will help you do that because they're going to help you get rid of these blockages that are enabling this fear of you doing that, doing the thing that you actually want to do, and also helping you heal uh, your sacral and your heart chakra from these toxic masculine energies, uh, from violent energies, and from sex um, negative sexual, I don't even know how else to say this, like negative sexual context energies. They're telling me context. Context. Okay? All right, Pisces. Oh, that was quite a whirlwind. All right, so who's next? We have Pis we have uh, Cancer and Scorpio. Excuse me. <clears throat> oh, Pisces, I really messed up my throat chakra. Hold on. Mm. I need one of those crystal water bottles. That's what I need. <clears throat> one of those crystal water bottles. Maybe we'll just make one. <laughs> I can just throw a crystal in there, right? Just, why not? Okay. Ugh. Cancer, Scorpio. Now I'm nasally. Great. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, Cancer, Scorpio. Cancer, Scorpio. Cancer, Scorpio. Oh, you guys are fighting. You guys are fighting. Uh-oh. Is something going on with these two signs? This feels really weird. Because usually, like, sometimes some signs will, like, have a little tug and pull with me if I'm doing this kind of reading. If I'm like, what sign is really needing me the most? But this actually feels like a battle. Cancer, Pi Cancer and Scorpio, you guys might be, that's so funny, I almost said Pisces. Cancer and Scorpios, you guys might be, um, I don't know, you guys might be not so kosher with each other right now. This feels really weird. Oh, this feels so weird. Cancer, Scorpio, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, I, every time I do, I, I go for Cancer, I feel like I'm supposed to do Cancer, but then like I feel Scorpionic energy actually getting upset. That's so weird. Okay, Cancer. Sorry, Scorps. Cancer. <laughs> All right, Cancers. What crystals do my Cancers need for the month of January? Oh, Cancer. Oh, shit. Okay. Ow. All the heart chakras shit, guys. Cancers, keep in mind, the full moon eclipse is in your sign. It's going to be intense. It's going to be emotional, and I feel it. Oh, my God, Cancer. You are so in the feels. Oh, you are so in the feels, Cancer. Oh, this one's going to be a little rough. All right, what crystals do my Cancers need for the month of January? I actually am hearing Peridot. I'm actually hearing that. We'll see if it comes out, but that would be a very beneficial crystal if you're really in the feels. It's good for um, emotional cleansing. It's really good for that. Oh, this doesn't feel good. Okay, Cancers. What crystals do my Cancers need for the month of January? <clears throat> What crystals do my cancers need for the month of January? Oh, we got a peeker. Hold on. Okay. Priscelli Blue Stone's the first card out. I feel like you guys get this card a lot, honestly. I don't know if it's a cancer stone. I feel like it's not. I don't feel like it is, but you guys get this card a lot, and I do feel that it's about that emotional healing that needs to take place here. <clears throat> Cancers also keep in mind because the full moon is in Cancer and this is going to be an eclipse and it is regarding the North Node, South Node and karma, right? Uh, karma, essentially, that is still getting wrapped up and where we're, we are needing to head to. You might be feeling the collective because you're also a water sign. You're also very intuitive. You might actually be feeling a lot of the collective's emotional stuff, not just yours. So please keep that in mind, especially if you already know that you're an empath. <clears throat> What other crystals do my Cancers need for the month of January? Ooh. What other crystals do my Cancers need for the month of January? Too many. That's so weird. I just heard the dark side of the moon. To me, that would say new moon, not full moon. Um, 
something might have happened from the new moon eclipse energy for you cancer keep in mind it's an eclipse so post shadow energy lasts for up to six months so we're still in that energy as well when we start picking up the full moon energy which we're already in as well technically because we're in the pre-shadow for the full moon eclipse energy and you also be doing a video on it on the 8th i still need to schedule that but i have it in my calendar my personal calendar on the 8th um <clears throat> You might be really high, highly affected by both cancers, but you're ruled by the moon, so I'm not surprised. But something might have happened between then and the actual full, full moon. So between December 26th and January 12th, there might be a major event for you. I did just hear a tower moment, okay? What other crystals would benefit my cancers for the month of January? What other crystals would benefit my cancers for the month of January? For some of you, this was a dream. Or you saw something significant. They're giving me downloads about this event for some of you. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Some of you, this was a dream and you saw something significant, but it was very impactful and very important. It changed the way you look at someone. It changed the way you look at someone or even your own path. Some of you could have got some really shitty news about someone in your life, someone significant. It's information based. It's information. It's information you came into knowledge of, but I feel like for most of you, it was through your intuition or the dream space. Some of you, it was like in the 3D, but I feel like most of you was through intuition who has this like major event and that's not for all of you. That's just what I was picking up on. Okay, anyway, Cancer. So let's get into this. So we have Priscilla Blue Stone. <laughs> if I can speak. Um, <clears throat> Herkimer Diamond, and I don't ever know how to pronounce this one, but I'll do my best. Chariot? Chariot? Chariot. Chariot. Words are not my forte. Numbers are my forte. But anyway, you guys know that crystal, and we're going to go ahead and read the descriptions off anyway. I was like, did I put the book over here? Yes, I did. Okay. We'll do Priscilla Bluestone first. Okay. <clears throat> Priscilla Bluestone, the inner compass. Priscilla Bluestone's planted healing energies from the land of the ancestors into a sacred healing landscape. This stone accesses past, present, and future. You are an ancient shaman who has much wisdom to impart and the ability to journey through multiple dimensions in search of healing. Hold on. <laughs> Itchy, sorry. <clears throat> You have unshakable core stability and an inner compass that directs you with integrity. Use natural medicine for ailments. Pay attention to your boundaries. Dig deep into the past, access your memories, and cut yourself free. Examine your deepest intentions and roots. Live in the present moment. Find your own direction and face challenges with, with equanimity. <clears throat> You have power to decide. Pay particular attention to your environment. Be true to yourself is the basis of all well-being, spiritual and physical. The frequency of the stone is earthy and high. Oh, excuse me. It's great for the earth star chakra, great for Taurians, Sagis, and Capricorns, and developing a spiritual compass. Ooh. Why does that not make me feel good for you guys? Um, whatever information you're coming into knowledge of, I think is really making you question your path here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Herkimer Diamond, instant energy. Powerful energy generators that access and release past life information. Herkimer Diamonds make excellent shields against geopathic stress and EMFs. This crystal works beyond the physical levels of being of being to bring harmony to the energy bodies and the soul. Be careful. Note of your dreams. <laughs> Oh, be careful. Jesus, keep careful. Keep careful note of your dreams as they reveal underlying causes of your disease. You may be particularly sensitive to EMF frequencies, radioactivity, and detrimental earth energies. You may also be psychically sensitive and need to clear a blocked third eye. Check that you are not living on a negative earth energy line. You may be addicted to your tablet or mobile phone and receiving detrimental vibes therefrom. Screen yourself appropriately. High vibration and high impact energy can dramatically change your world. Frequency of the stone is extremely high. <clears throat> Great for all the chakras and for seeing the light. Ooh, cancer. <laughs> okay. Uh, definitely you're getting information through your dream space. Some of you might be having a hard time remembering them too. Is also what I was getting as I was reading this. They were giving me that download. Some of you guys are having a really hard time remembering your dreams, but there's a lot of important information in there for you within your dream space. So I think this, this crystal will definitely help with that, but more so 
Also keep in mind that you can ask your guides to help you remember. You can ask to remember. And if they feel that you're, it's important for you to remember, they'll help you remember. And sometimes they don't want you to, but obviously you're getting important information there, information you really need, okay? So this will be very, very helpful for you guys. <clears throat> okay, let's do this last one. Oh, where'd it go? I think, am I missing a page? I know it's the last crystal. Okay, so like I said, I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> But here it is. Charite, wound healing, provides deep physical and emotional healing. Transmuting negative energy, it converts disease to wellness. With this assistance, you recognize that your greatest trauma is also your most profound gift. Accept it with grace. Uh, this crystal re-energizes, heals, and integrates dualities. Healing past life dis-ease carried into the present life. Deep fears and schisms pervade your being. <clears throat> you may not feel that you belong on earth. Alienation and insecurity lie beneath a deceptively calm surface. You are subtly driven by other people's thoughts and programs rather than your own. Your, auto your auto autonomic... <laughs> ah! Some words I really struggle with. Your nervous system may be malfunctioning. If so, it needs recalibrating. Time to take control. You're undergoing a vibrational change, creating links to higher realities. Visions of past lives suggest ways to redress karma personally and collectively. In accepting the present moment as perfect, you create the space to heal. The frequency of the stone is high, great for all the chakras, and for service to humanity and healing the wounds of the past. So like I said, guys, you guys are going to go through some emotion, a major emotional stuff in the month of January. The eclipse is a big driver of that for cancers. And... <clears throat> Some of you are going to get some information through your dreams, through intuition. Some of you are in the, in the 3D space, but I feel like most of you is going to be through your dreams or your own intuition. It's going to make you question your path. Some of you might need to realize that you need to make certain changes to change course of your path. That's a big theme for a lot of people right now. But you're, you're basically going through a big transformation yourself, just like everyone else is. But cancers, emotionally, you're being very highly affected by this. And when emo a cancer's emotions are messed with like that, even if it's for your own your own benefit, your intuition gets a little messed with too. So your spiritual compass might be a little off and needs recalibrating. Okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get into the cards. Let's do crystal. I really like I've been really liking this deck lately. <clears throat> oh god, hold on, cancers. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> Why do my Cancers need these crystals for the month of January? Why do my Cancers need these crystals for the month of January? Why do my Cancers need these crystals for the month of January? Sorry, they're giving me a message. I'm just trying to understand how to... In how to say this to you guys because sometimes when they give me messages it's a lot of information but it's like I gotta put it in terms that's e easy to understand um okay ebb and flow essentially is what this is that they're telling me ebb and flow a lot of you have been writing um the flow <laughs> I'll say it that way. A lot of you have been writing the flow for a while now. You're in the ebb, okay? January, you're going to be in the ebb, and that's okay. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. That's very natural. Even when you go, when you study hermetics, they have a whole law for that law of rhythm. It's, it's a natural thing, and it's also very beneficial because when you come out of a flow state and you're going to more of an ebb state, which is like what a lot of people say is like the dark energy or transformation energy or death energy, just... All these different words for the same thing, essentially. That's when you get to grow. That's when you get to basically improve. You get to improve yourself. You get to heal some of your wounds. You get to upgrade yourself in an emotional way, a spiritual way, a mental way, whatever way you want, really, so that your next flow state can be better than the previous one. But some of you have been in such flow for a while that coming into this ebb is, uh, how do I say this? You're having a hard time with it. You're having a hard time with it. It's a natural thing. Use it to your advantage so that your next flow, your next flow state could be a lot greater than your previous one. Okay. Why do my cancers use these crystals for the month of January? Why do my 
Cancers need these crystals for the month of January. Ooh, okay. It's a lot of cards. Ooh. 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 Ow. God. Okay. Look at that. Ten of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy. Then we have the Hermit in reverse. Virgo energy. And the Knight of Wands. Sag energy could also be Aries or Leo. I just, I feel like the Knight of Wands representing is representing just kind of like fun and frolic. It's kind of like your flow state, actually, that you were coming out of. So it's interesting that they gave me that message. I think, Cancers, you've had a lot of uh, fun in 2019. I think that you have had um, some really good times. Some of you have even seen Abundance. Not the entire 2019. You had a, some You had some ebb. You had some ebb in 2019, but the last flow state you had was really enjoyable. And there, there's almost this energy of, like, you might feel like you didn't use it well. Like, you might feel like you... Not that you wasted it, but you maybe went about it in, God, I'm trying to think the best word because I don't want to sound offensive. I don't want to sound offensive. You just didn't use it to, to your greatest greatest advantage, okay? And with the Ten of Swords in reverse, you're experiencing some pain. I do feel a little bit of like backstabbing here. Um, I think because you were in such enjoyment and fun mode, you might not have been very aware with the Hermit in reverse. You might not have been very enlightened or tapped into um, your higher self to realize maybe some deceptive energies at play or people that were not out for your best interest. And so now you're feeling the consequences of that. And I'm not saying you're being punished. I'm not saying that. It's a learning lesson. It's a learning lesson. You had some fun and that's okay. Nothing wrong with having fun. But you're clearly coming into this ebb with a lot of pain. A lot of pain and it does feel, it does feel it's caused by uh, deceptive energies that you were not privy to. And some of you were kind of kicking yourself that you should have been privy to them, but maybe you were too sucked into the enjoyment of it all. Some of you, these people or person, these energies, uh, had a very charismatic feel to them. And yeah, yeah. And you're kind of kicking yourself for letting that mask deceive you. I hate to say it like that, Cancers, but I'm just the messenger, right? I just don't like giving messages like that, but that is what I'm getting with that. Let's see what other cards want to come out. Some of you, these energies were very charismatic and actually took you off your path. Why do my cancers need these crystals? Why do my can ooh? Why do my cancers need these crystals for the month of January? Now, cancers, like I said, keep in mind a lot of what you're feeling might also be the collective because you guys are intuitive and empathic, and this full moon eclipse is in your sign. Okay, so also keep that in mind. One of my cancers need these crystals for the month of January. Shit. Yeah. Okay, that's promising. Yikes, 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 yikes. So we have three other cards that came out here. Death in reverse, scorpionic energy. So like I said, major transformative uh, process, the ebb, the ebb, right? And then we have the wheel of fortune in reverse, Jupiter energy, and the ten of pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy here. You feel like the you feel like fortune's not going in your favor anymore. This is the epitome of being in an ebb state. OK, you had your flow, you were enjoying it, you were loving it. Maybe you didn't use it to the best of your advantage. Maybe you didn't see all of the deceptive energies at play because you were enjoying it so much. You're feeling the sting of that. You're feeling the sting of that. And some of it is also past trauma that you're having to face. And then you enter the ebb state where things are not going in your favor. You feel very unstable. You even feel like you're having some struggles with money. So you might be having struggles with money or finances or finances aren't, aren't turning out the way you expected them to. Cancer, some of you might be resisting this ebb state, which is also just a death phase with that death in reverse. I feel like you're resisting it. This is interesting. For some of you, you're almost afraid to embrace this ebb flow because of money. This ebb state or death that death process might require you to take time off work because it's that intense, okay? Maybe not a lot of time, maybe just a few days. Maybe you just need a little vacation, right, <laughs> Cancer? Maybe you just need to like go on vacation, be in a little space by yourself for a few days, away from people, just in nature, because especially with this card coming out, you're very sensitive to your environment at this time. Like very, very freaking sensitive, especially if you're a strong empath, you're gonna be even more sensitive than you've ever been because it is a full moon eclipse energy for the month of January, okay? So if you gotta go up into like the mountains or the desert where there's like hardly any people, you might have to do that. But some of you are, are really worried about the impact on your finances. 
Some of you are also having some family issues. Oh, oh, awareness of your family issues. Oh, cancer. Okay. Uh, some of you might have to change a lot of things in this ebb state revolving around family or your home or your money. But you're worried about making these changes because you're worried about the hit financially or the hit to your actual security. Like if you live at home with your family, for example, you might be worried about your living situation. You might have to like separate from your family for a little while. And some of you are worried about doing that. Some of you might have to take a break from work, like I said, or a career change. You're worried about the effect of your finances, which will affect your security. You're, you're having trouble trusting. <laughs> you're having trouble trusting, surrendering to this need to take a time out to basically deal with all of this. To deal with the wounds and, the, and your emotions that need to be addressed. Because some of you, I really feel like it needs to be done away from people. I feel like you're just going to be so sensitive at this time. And guys, this is not a bad thing. This is not a bad thing. Like if you, like speaking as a Scorpio, if you surrender to this, I think it's going to turn out way better than you could have imagined. You're going to feel amazing coming out of this. And when you feel good, abundance will flow to you. Not to mention you'll have more space because you'll have cleared out your energy field and your energy body of these, these emotions that have been kind of holding you down a little bit. God, and what is this betray? I mean, I keep getting drawn back to this Ten of Swords in reverse. You've had energies around you, Cancer, that were not in your highest good, who actually were probably very ill-intentioned towards you. And they were very charismatic, very fun. And I feel like that's coming to a head at this time as well. And I think some of you might be struggling with that. Let's look at the Ten of Swords in a verse, actually. I don't usually clarify. I usually keep these very simple for these kind of readings, but it's really calling out to me. So let's take a look. I'm actually going to use Kipper for this one. Tell me about the Ten of Swords in a verse. Play with the Ten of Swords in reverse for Cancer. Ooh, mature man. That could be a father figure. Um, could also be just someone who's older, not necessarily, but a masculine energy. Masculine energy. Play with the Ten of Swords in reverse. This ebb state excuse me, ebb state, the flow state, the flow state that you're leaving and going into this ebb state from, uh, some of you might feel like you handled it immaturely. I think that was the word I was looking for before, immaturely. And you're realizing that you could have handled it better. And if you were more mature, things would have gone a little bit smoother going into this ebb state. That's not a bad thing. It's just a le lesson learned. So the Ten of Swords in reverse. Ugh. Tell me the Ten of Swords in reverse for Cancer for the month of January. Ooh, okay. Courtship. Courtship is usually a new relationship, a budding relationship in romance, friendship, or coworkers. Otherwise, a relationship that you have with another human being, regardless of what kind of relationship it is. It's something that was budding. It's something that was new. It's something that was new, and that's that's ending. It seemed like it was very promising, Cancer. And I think you're finding out that someone really wasn't who they who they said they were or someone who wasn't who they made themselves out to be. It feels like a betrayal behind it. It really feels like a betrayal behind it. It could also be like a father figure getting in the way of a budding romance. Or an older masculine masculine energy getting in the way of a budding romance. Tell me the Ten of Swords in reverse. Like, they weren't really mature. They were immature. Could also be that. So we have, overall, we have great fortune. Wow. With wealthy man, change, holy shit, and privileged lady. Wow. Wow. Okay. So Cancer's this is interesting. So like I said, we always read energies, not gender. So don't get caught up on the gender here. So we have great fortune with a wealthy masculine energy, a change between a privileged lady, which is a feminine energy and a a wealthy feminine energy an abundant feminine energy. Think of this like the nine of pentacles, like someone who has a lot of resources on their own, has great standing on their own. They don't really need to, need to rely on other people, a feminine energy and a masculine energy of the same standing. There's been a change between the two. There's been a change between the two. 
And whatever was budding between these two energies has now changed. And it does feel like a sense of betrayal from a mature man. Okay, so we got three people involved here, or three energies involved here. A mature man could just be someone who's older than, the two, than these two individuals. This could be someone's father, someone's grandfather. It's an external energy that basically killed this budding relationship, whatever this was, because there's been a change between these two, and it's because of this energy. Wow. That stinks. Okay. Overall cancers, we do have the fool, which I love that this is your overall energy. I was so happy to see this for you guys. Keep in mind, it's going to make a new video in like a minute or two. Hopefully I can get it right when we do Scorpio. But anyway, cancer, I love that this is here for you because this is taking that chance into the new. This is coming out of that ebb state and going into the next flow state. You can do this. You could totally do this. Just don't resist it. Ugh. Ugh. Excuse me. Just don't resist the <laughs> so nasally just don't resist this ebb flow this ebb state just don't resist this ebb state okay ebb is just another word for death process for transformation being in dark energy it's not a bad thing it's actually a very powerful empowering thing if you just embrace it and surrender to it and you'll be surprised like i said how beneficial it will be and you will go into your next flow state beautifully by the way and and, and on a new path on a new path some of you this could be a new career just like what well, kind of very similar what we got for pisces but again, that's a theme for a lot of people right now. Okay, Cancer? So like I said, just embrace it and you'll be fine. Okay? All right. Let's do Scorpio. <laughs> I know, like I said, I know it's going to make another video in like a minute. And we usually just lose, lose like a second. But it's going to take me a while to set the board up again. So anyway. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, January is going to be intense. <laughs> it's going to be intense for a lot of us. Okay. Ugh. Let's see. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Ugh. Oh, perfect. Nailed it. Okay. Second video. Let's do Scorpio now. All right. Scorps. Scorpio, Scorpios. That was a weird thing you had going on with cancer. Whew. Scorpios for the month of January. Scorpios. For the month of, okay. Scorpios, you're going through your own emotional stuff too, but I feel actually a lot more fire with you. Feeling a lot of fire energy with you. You're fired up. You're amped up. You got a lot of energy in the month of January. I don't feel like that was the case for December. I don't feel like that was the case for December. I actually feel like you're almost agitated. It's actually very scorpionic. You have a lot of energy in January. You're very motivated, but I feel like it's, it's coming out of agitation. Excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like it's coming out of agitation. I'm just seeing flashes of scenes, so I'm trying to make sense of it. God, Scorpio, you're on the move in January. It's almost overwhelming. What crystals do my Scorpios need for the month of January? Yeah, this was not how you've been. This is this is new energy for you, for most of you. What crystals do my Scorpios need? Wow. Okay, Scorpio, what... Whatever's got you guys agitated, it's different for everybody, but this motivation I'm feeling from you, it feels very much like putting you first, which is beautiful. We should always put ourselves first, but it's kind of like, it's almost like you're doing it out of justice. And I got to be honest, it does feel selfish. And I'm not saying that that is a judgment. I just don't know another word for it. It is selfish energy, but I don't think it's unhealthy, but it's out of a need for justice excuse me, for karmic justice as well. So some of you need to, need to actually be more selfish to break a karmic pattern here of putting other people first or caring about other people. And not to say caring about other people is bad, but Scorpios, you guys are very loyal. You do care a lot about other people. Scorpios have big, big hearts. And some of you have been realizing that that's been keeping you trapped in karmic patterns. And it's time to break that. And to do that, some of you guys just have to be kind of selfish. Oh, Scorpio, some of you guys are bringing some hearts in January. That's literally what they just told me, breaking hearts. You guys are, you guys were going to be breaking hearts in uh, January. Maybe some of you guys are dealing with a cancer where that might be the, the case. Because that energy of some between the two of you was like, oh, shit, what, what's going on here with you two? <laughs> okay, Scorpios. What crystals do my Scorpios need for the month of January? What crystals do my Scorpios need? see here. Ooh, a zestulite. 
the zest light. Okay, you got some family stuff too going on, Scorpio. <laughs> you definitely know, got some family stuff too, or ancestral could be one or the other. Some of these karmic patternings are from past lives as well that you're needing to break. What other crystals do my Scorpios need for the month of January? What other crystals do my Scorpios need for the month of January? What other crystals do my Scorpios need for the month of January? Oop, come on, come out. Oh, okay, we got a repeat. We have Herkimer Diamond just came out. And that one came out with Force, Scorpio. Okay, so you guys got two cards. A Zestulite and Herkimer Diamond. I'm hearing Amethyst as well. We didn't get it out, but I'm hearing it, so maybe look into that for you guys. It's interesting you guys got Herkimer Diamond as well, because that's a very powerful uh, crystal. And I actually really love it because it's like, it's it's very, um, it's not just healing. How do I say it? It's not just healing. It just gives you so much back. <laughs> it brings people back to life is kind of what I, I like to say about this, about this crystal. And Cancer got it too. And like I said, I was feeling something going on between Cancers and Scorpios. So watch Cancer. I don't like to repeat descriptions if I get them in the same video. So watch Cancer. They also got this crystal as well. Oh, excuse me. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and read a Zestulite. Oh, my God. All right. Okay. A Zestulite. Cosmic evolution. Azestulites are imbued with immense spiritual energy and information for guidance and insight. They are here to help Earth ascend into a higher expression of consciousness. You are a being of light here to help Earth evolve. Although you need to rise above mundane concerns, keep your feet on the ground and deal with the everyday. Too much emphasis on sweetness and light leads to ignoring your shadow energies, ooh, which become inauthentic and lethal. Niceness, if not acknowledged and integrated, stay real, leave your ego behind. Integrating the shadow is really big for people right now. And yes, someone, I know, I saw someone leave a comment somewhere about when I'm doing that video. I lost yesterday because I had to go to the, you know, had to go to see some doctors yesterday um, <clears throat> unexpectedly. But it's on the list. So don't worry, I'm getting it done. I'm getting it done when I need to, when I need to. You are here to represent spiritual light on earth and help it evolve. Make yourself heard. A project is successful no matter what. Avoid becoming impractical and having too high an opinion of yourself to the detriment of others. Retain your humility. Recognizing that every soul is precious ensures you remain in cosmic harmony. Scorpio, I really feel like someone pissed you off. I feel like someone pissed you off with this. I mean, this is going to be helping you integrate your shadow side, which Scorpios you're great at. This came up in your reading as well. The reading I did for you a couple days ago. Um... But I, I feel it. I feel that anger. I feel that agitation. And Scorpios, when you're triggered, well, it depends on how triggered you are. A Scorpio will either shut down on you or totally just, you know, give you a huge ass sting and then walk away <laughs> in silence. That's how Scorpios react. It just depends on how much you piss them off, right? Um, but I feel it. Someone really got to you. Someone really got to you and it really hurt you. But more than anything, it motivated you because you're using that agitation agitation and anger to motivate you to get some shit done. I'm hearing to build, to build something. And your dreams and intuition are telling you a lot. They're telling you a lot about what you need to do and also the people you need to cut, actually, is what they're telling me. The people you need to cut. The frequency of the stone is exceptionally high. It's a, um, great for all the chakras and best for the crown. And for assisting the earth to evolve. So like I said, uh, Cancer got this as well. So go ahead and, and go watch a Cancer. <laughs> go watch Cancer. They should be timestamps. You can also get the description for this crystal. But like I said, um, I definitely feel like it's just relating to um, your dream space and how sensitive you are. Um, yeah, you're getting a lot of information, Scorpios. You're getting a lot of information. And whatever information you're getting is really upsetting you and it's pissing you off. But it's motivating you more than anything. More than anything, it's motivating you. Okay, so let's go ahead and see why you need these crystals. Ooh, I kind of want to do Santa Muerte. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's a very Scorpionic deck in my opinion. Let's see, is this one ready? Yeah, it's ready. Okay. Mm. Why do my Scorpios need these crystals? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals? Like Scorpios, if you need that extra energy, this, this crystal will give it to you. Okay. 
the Herkimer diamond. My dad just asked me what that was, Herkimer diamond. Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of January? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of January? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of January? Oh, that was very fast. Wow. Wow. Oh, oh, what did I say? You are motivated and you are all over the place. Eight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Sag and Gemini, the one sevens of each other. Uh, you could be dealing with someone who is a natural uh, partner to you. Doesn't always have to be romantic when I say partner. When I say partner, it could be a friend, it could be a coworker, a family member, whoever. But someone who's a natural partner to you. But Scorpio, you are speaking some truths, okay? Oh, the Knight of Swords is not tactful. They're very direct. They're also known to be very blunt. I feel like you're being very direct in the way you're speaking to somebody. And the way that you're moving is just very like, it's, how do I say it? It's calculated. The way you're making moves in January and the way that you're speaking to people, a specific someone too is what I'm getting. A specific someone is very direct. It's very intentional. Yeah, very direct and very intentional. The way you're moving and the way you're speaking. And you're not being very tactful, but you're not caring either. Yeah, Scorpios, when a Scorpio talks like that, they're agitated. They're agitated. And like I said, for most of you, it's at a specific someone. It's very intentional. You're choosing your words. It's very intentional. Oh, Scorpio. Okay. And you can't be stopped either. Whatever moves you're making, you can't be stopped. You're very motivated. You got a lot of fire backing you. What did I say about fire? Both of these cards have fire in them. You're very motivated. Why else am I... The six? Yes, the six. <laughs> I love this deck, but it's hard to distinguish the six and the nines. Six of swords. Um, Aquarian energy. This is moving on and traveling. I'm actually getting travel. So you guys might actually be traveling in the month of January. Yeah, you're making some moves. All three of your cards about movement. Scorpio, all three of them. Movement, okay? These two cards can indicate alone that you're traveling somewhere or that you're even moving. If we get the chariot, you're definitely moving, okay? Um, a lot of you are wanting to build something and work on something specifically that's for yourself. Very specifically for yourself. Some people might be calling you selfish in the month of January, so also keep that in mind. Don't let it bother you. I really feel like it's helping you break some karmic patterns. Don't let it bother you. But with the Knight of Swords, you're being very direct with people. I can't stop emphasizing that. You're being very direct and very um, intentional with your words and with your moves. And people are not going to like it. And with a specific someone, I have to be honest, it feels like you're agitated with them. <sighs> Ooh, I got a little poke in the chest when I said that. Ow. <laughs> yeah, I'd say that's true, Scorpio. Uh, you're very agitated with them. And you're very unapologetic in the way that you're speaking. And you are, you're heading somewhere. You're heading somewhere. Oh, Scorpio. Yeah, you're not caring how you're talking to people right now. And like I said, I just, I don't think it's necessarily bad. I feel like, like I said, it's actually helping you break some karmic patterns. But just be mindful. Don't go crazy with it. <laughs> don't burn any bridges that you, you might need to revisit. Some of you are definitely burning bridges intentionally. Some of you are intentionally burning bridges. Why else do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of January? Why else do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of January? I'm also thinking something about not being heard. Um, you're not having any patience for anyone who makes you feel unheard. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Ooh! Emperor in reverse, Mars, which is your planet, Scorpio, but it's also Aries, and for me as a reader, this is also Taurus, divine masculine energy. This is someone who has control issues, okay? Someone has some control issues, someone who can be a little tyrannical. Scorpio, be careful. Some of you might be embodying this energy a little bit, okay? So please be careful of that. Others, you're dealing with this kind of an energy, and you're just not putting up with them. This could be a father figure, a boss, a CEO, a, you know, a judge. It could be someone like that. Someone who's been around a while, I'm getting age with this person. I'm actually getting age with this person. Um, some of you are just standing up to this person and not dealing with their bullshit. Others, you're taking on a tyrannical energy. So just be mindful of that. You don't want to take on that energy. You can be big and bad, 
You don't have to be a tyrant about it, though, right? Why else do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of January? Let's see. Overall, oh, we've got the Empress. Oh, Venusian. Sorry, I'm like the scars I'm seeing here on the bottom. Uh, Venusian, Libra, and Taurus. We now have an Emperor and an Empress on the board. Lord, that was loud. Anyway, Scorpio. Um, we now have an Emperor and Empress on the board. Underneath that, we do have the hair font in reverse, okay? Taurian energy. I feel like, Scorpio, you are breaking ties with someone here. Very significant to you. You're being very unapologetic apologetic about it as well. Being very unapologetic about it. Some of you actually need to align these two energies within yourself, which is why the hair font is in reverse. So if this is not something that's happening between another person, you're acting this way because you need to integrate your shadow side, okay? Scorpios, just be mindful of that. That's going to be at the forefront for you because you are typically the masters of that. You guys really harness your shadow quite a bit naturally. And that's a theme for everybody needing to do that. But with these energies right here, this is not being aligned because this side of you needs to be integrated. The masculine side of you needs to be integrated. I, I will be doing a video on it. I know a lot of you guys need that right now. But some of you who are not doing that work, you're actually breaking away from someone who is quite a pair to you, I have to say who is quite a pair to you, but this is very unapologetic. <laughs> very unapologetic. Like, I can't give two shits how you feel about what I have to say. Like, it's it's very much like that, okay? So just be mindful of how you're coming across. You don't want to sit only in this energy, and you don't want to sit only in this energy. You got to integrate the two. And like I said, I will be doing a video on that. The way we integrate shadow is by actually just doing shadow work. That's how you integrate it. Is just by doing the work. I will do a video, I promise. Okay. Oh, Scorps, Cancers, and Pisces. I hope you guys found that insightful and helpful. That was a little intense. That was a little intense, but I'm so happy back at work, you guys. I can't even tell you. So happy to be back at work. I can feel it. I'm gonna get a lot of videos done today. Um, but anyway, guys, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to go on Patreon and Vimeo where you can find different content. They are not extended, it's actually different content. And in the next couple weeks, you'll see all the new content I have here on YouTube and Patreon as well. Okay. All right. I love you guys. Have a great night and a really great weekend and a really great month as well. Okay. Namaste.